Okay, we're here at the event center, Renata Pavilion. And as you can see, this is the comic book convention here in San Fernando Valley that our friend Alan told us about down in uh, Long Beach. And we're very pleased to be here. Apparently, he's a very good friend of, of the producer of this event. And thank you very much. We will go in and see what's happening. Right now everybody's queued up and it's about 10 a.m. in the morning. And here in November on a very windy and blustery day. Okay, well we met uh, Belle over here and her friend Dave. And they're going uh, buying, it's mostly buying comic books as you come in here to the San Fernando Valley Comic uh, Strip uh, Convention. We understand the artist who draws the Simpsons will be here in attending and um, in attendance really and so we're very pleased to say that this is uh, the beginning of something big for the San Fernando Valley bringing more comic book collectors here and sellers as well so as we pan around we can see that they have a uh, video screen above there and maybe we'll go over and talk to him. John is this wonderful seller here and his uh, booth is uh, really the, probably the best here. I can see that he has very good comics. Tell me more about what you're selling. Oh, uh, we have a variety of uh, many different books. Um, mm -hmm. You know, some older stuff, some new stuff, kind of a mixture of all kinds of books. Wow. People like to we collect all kinds of different things. Yeah, and what's your price range? Uh, we got things all the way from 25 cents up to, you know, $50 books, $100 books. It depends on what they got to do. Can P do you have a website or someplace people can reach you to buy some more? Uh, go to uh, Cruising Through Comics is our name of our company. What is it? Cruising Through Comics. Cruising Through Comics. Yeah. Oh, I think I've heard of you yeah. all. Oh, how and, nice. Uh, we have the... Uh, Oh, we're, at the moment, we don't have a website, but uh, we do have a uh, Facebook page they can reach us at. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for that interview, John. Hi, and tell me your name, please. Hi, I'm Frank, and this is my booth. Yeah. Um, this is my first time selling at a comic convention. Yeah. Um, so I'm pretty excited. It is very exciting, and uh, I heard that the man who um, creates The Simpsons. Uh -huh. He's going to be visiting here today. Oh, he is? Yeah. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. Didn't know, I don't, I've got to get his name. It's just really embarrassing because I, <laughs> yeah. I don't know anything about comics. And you are a collector, first of all? Yeah, yeah, and, definitely. And now you've decided to sell this? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, I'm starting to go into the collectibles business uh -huh. myself. Okay. Yeah. And what do, you, what do you have here today? All kinds of different stuff. Lots of I, I see some, I see some, some toys. These are HeroClix figures, uh -huh. Lego. Oh, you have Lego. Yeah, old video games. Old video games. Yeah. And, and then toys. toys. Oh, I like that. Just in time for the holidays. Huh? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Oh, you've done a good job. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Now, tell me your name again and how you spell it in also where we can reach you. Okay, it's Frank Gomez, uh -huh. G-O-M-E-Z, yeah. and you can reach me at fgomez332 at gmail.com. And we thank you for the interview. Thanks. Okay. okay, what is your name? What is your name, please? Tony Rayola. And what are you selling here today? Huh? What are you selling today, Tony? I'm selling a lot of stuff, classics, not comic books. American classic, like TCM of the comics. Oh, how nice. That's Tony Rayola, Marshall and mine, and not mine. And where can people reach you when you're not selling here? You want to buy this book from me? I, I am you considering it. Me I'm, it's a little high price for me. Oh, a little high price. Ah. You know, I'm okay, just... Okay, so you show me now. You want to tell me where you can be reached so I'm people sorry? can call you and buy your stuff? Well, you want to tell me where you can be yeah, reached? Yeah, I, I am in Long Beach and I do internet only now. Before okay. I had a shop, Barnes and Noble put me out of business. As such, I continue fighting the American way, Lord Ranger, 
and they say, are you, you can go now. Oh, no. Stop sending it. So what is your internet address? Yeah, oh, he's gone. <laughs> he's gone. He's not going to tell me his, his address. Did you want to tell me your internet address? Internet is, in, internet is everything. Yeah. Right. Do you have your... I believe you want this internet. You are young. Yeah. Does he have you an internet this, address? Internet is everything. Uh, uh, oh, today's event. And he's not going to tell me any information where people can reach him and buy cool. this stuff for well, Christmas. Tony Raiola. I have a huge catalog and everything is discount for Christmas. Make everybody happy. Okay? okay. Uh, we just look your name up, okay? Okay. You can go now. Well, thank you. Hello, my name is David Lucarelli. I'm the writer of the Children's Vampire Hunting Brigade. It's a coming-of-age gothic adventure that's been described as Buffy meets S.C. E. Hinton's The Outsiders. Ooh, is this a whole book? Yeah, uh, there's a collection of the first four issues that's been put out by Creators Edge Press, and uh, as of now, I'm putting together the second graphic novel for a launch sometime next year. And, and what is this thing right here? Uh, this is a promo video that we did. We did a Kickstarter for the uh, launch of the book uh, two years ago, so this is that promo video. And you wrote all this? I wrote it all. It was inspired by a real-life incident in 1954. Uh, Scotland, hundreds of school kids went looking for a vampire in this one cemetery. It was considered mass hysteria. They blamed it on comic books, actually. In our book, they find what they're looking for, form the brigade, and 50 years later, there's a couple kids in that same graveyard the night the vampires come back. And who, who drew this? Uh, the art is by Henry Ponciano. He's a Filipino artist. Uh, some, some influence in his work by artists like Mike Magnolia, that kind of thing. Really? Mike Magnolia? Wow. What a name. Ooh, look at this eye. What a marvelous drawing. Whoa. And, and so uh, where can people reach you so they can get help can with their go, writing? You can go to cvhb.net and you can read the first issue online for free. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Name, please. Uh, Don Glute, G-L-U-T. Okay, and are you a comic book artist? I'm a comic, I used to be a comic book writer. I wrote for Marvel and DC and Goldie and Charlton and Archie and Warren and pretty much everybody else. And Archie? Now I am a writer and a film director. I'm probably best known for writing the novel of The Empire Strikes Back, the second Star Wars. Oh my God. And now I'm making horror movies. Now what horror movie are you making? The one, the current one in production right now is called She Wolves. It's a female werewolf picture. Hi. Somebody auditioned me once for a part in a movie like called almost a very similar name to that. Ah. Back in New York. Many, many years ago in the dark ages. Well this is my, my seventh movie, seventh feature length movie. Yeah, good. Feature films all? Yes. No no independent films. It is independent, yeah. Oh, I'm very independent. independent. Okay. That's why I'm still working at my age because I'm independent. Uh, your age. And that part of the system. Yeah, a young 50. Well, I, I was born when dinosaurs still roll near. All right. How about me? <laughs> well, you could be my granddaughter. <laughs> no, thank you. No, no, no. I'm at probably your age. <laughs> now, tell me who this lovely lady is next to you. You tell. Come closer to each other and get a two shot. This is Priscilla. Yeah. How do you pronounce your name? And she is an actress and she's a model and she's also a cave girl as you can see. Okay. Well, spell your name for me, Krista. It's a P R I S C I L L A Soltero S O L T E R O. I also have a single out on iTunes as well. It's on Amazon and Google Play. It's called Finding Clyde. Okay, and you're going to spell your name for you. G-L-U-T. G-L-U-T. I think you were on the flyer that I got in Long Beach. Oh, well. <laughs> you don't even know. I don't even know. Uh-huh. I'm on flyers, wanted posters, all kinds of things. That, okay. Your I, cartons, you know. Okay. 
Super Stella. You're so funny. Both of you is very adorable. Oh, thank you so much. Can I just take up a shot of this outfit? Because I, this is cosplay. She's got something. I I guess this is supposed to be the. Uh, this is the money shot. There you go. Thank you very much. You're adorable. All good luck to you. Both of you. Tell me all about yourself and your name and website. I'm Larry Andrews. I'm uh, an actor in Los Angeles. I also play saxophone and bass. Mm -hmm. And um, that's about all I really have to tell you at the moment. Well, musicians are my project <laughs> because I just so happen to have two people that I very much love in the music business. And um, anyway, this is a good time of year, isn't it, for musicians? Seems to be at the moment, yes. Yeah. I'm very yeah. busy. And what kind of music do you create? Um, based just about anything. I, I can play just about anything. I, I used to do a lot of musical theater and, and hard rock and jazz. So I'll play sax for whoever really needs it. Ooh, saxophone. Is it an alto sax? I play tenor mostly, but also alto and baritone. Oh, that's magnificent, really. And where have you performed? Uh, geez. House of Blues, Whiskey A Go Go, um, all the House of Blueses. Did a lot of stuff on the East Coast, the Village Gate, Kenny's Castaways, the Bottom Line, the Bitter Ends. So pretty much all over. Okay, where can people reach you? Um, I do not have a website yet, but I'm working on it. Do you have a special email for yes, people? Yes, LarryAndrews.acting at gmail.com. All right, and thank you for that interview. Yeah. Just tell me about it because there's more noise in the background, right? Yeah, we're having a, we're having a raffle right now. Okay, that's why the noise. We have a raffle every half hour, and the things that are being raffled are really, really very collectible items, from uh, comic book cells to uh, comic books from uh, Silver Age and Golden Age. And uh, we have this uh, convention every three to four months. And it's right here in, in Granada Hills in the San Fernando Valley, uh, San Fernando Mission Balboa area. And um, I, uh, I am also the owner of uh, two guys from Italy restaurant out here. And uh, when people come here and they buy their uh, uh, their entrance fee, they also get a voucher for a complimentary slice of pizza, big big slice. And um, we also have free coffee for everyone. And uh, we have a lot of families that come in here because they feel they don't have to go all the way to uh, Anaheim or, or uh, Long Beach or downtown with the parking. The parking here is free. Uh, all there is is a $5 entrance fee. And uh, the dollar uh, raffle tickets are being sold too. And uh, everyone really comes in. It's more like a real family get together. Uh, so we're filming this in November and it's just perfect. It's just before the holidays. Oh, exactly. Uh, a lot of people are coming in to purchase items for Christmas presents right now. And in addition to the comic books, we also have a lot of famous personalities that are here with their artwork, actors that have starred in uh, famous uh, motion pictures. We also have the uh, writer and, uh, and and the artist of uh, the Homer Simpson comic books here. Today. What's his name? Do you know? You know what? I can't remember. Uh, so I just found out that he's coming. You know, he's not quite here yet. Will you let me know? Will you let me know when he arrives? Oh yes, yes. I would like to get yeah. him in, uh, on uh, his camera. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, again, in addition to comic books, we have all these famous personalities that are involved in artwork with comic books and uh, uh, movies. And also, we have a lot of uh, little statuettes and collectible items from Star Wars. As you can see right over here on that table. I don't know if you can take a yeah, look. Yeah, I, I got something from over there. Oh, you did? Yeah, I've been buying stuff. Uh -huh. oh, yeah, they're terrific. perfect for the uh, holiday gifts. Right. And again, this is the Granada Hills Pavilion that we're having it in. And uh, it's right next door to Pet Boys here. Mm -hmm. So maybe while uh, while they're here, people come over, they can get their car repaired a little bit too. Oh, yeah. And uh, oh, another thing that I do here 
here is I take orders from everyone here for my restaurant. Okay. The two guys from Italy. Yeah, where is your where is the restaurant? My restaurant is just four doors down from here, right here on San Fernando Mission in Balboa. Really? Two guys from Italy. We I have had that restaurant for over forty five years. Oh my goodness. So, so you're online and everything, huh? Yes, yes. What, yes what is that? A website number? Or? Oh yeah, it's uh, two guys from Italy at Verizon.net. Okay, well thank and, you. Uh, oh, you know what? My uh, my associate oh, okay. is here, Robert. What is the name of the gentleman from Homer Simpson's that she'd like to know? Uh, there's Tom Rodriguez is right down here. Actually. Tony Rodriguez. Tom. Yeah, Tom. Oh, Tone Rodriguez. T O N E. T O N E Rodriguez, and he's the yeah, artist for Simpsons. He's, he's the artist for all the Simpsons. You know, this is my partner, Robert. Oh, hi. Robert. Hi. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Look at the camera. He's at, oh. It's so nice of you to come on camera. You're just adorable. Thank you. Yeah, Very you know, he's a happy man. guy. His daughter just had a, oh, I'm a grandchild. A you had, had what? He had a grandchild. His daughter oh, just recently. Really? He's a grandfather now. Uh, of a boy or a girl? Girl. You had a little baby girl? Yeah. Oh, how and wonderful. She, and she's... How old, how old is she now? Uh, almost 100 days. Oh. August 7th. Oh, the lovely date. Yeah. <laughs> he's already putting away some of the uh, Golden Age comic books for her. Very right, smart. I am. Oh, good. But good it's time. just a really, really fun and uh, family, like I said, type of atmosphere. Yeah. And I think everyone will enjoy it. Well, thanks for the, being the producer here. Oh, my pleasure to have talked to you today. Uh -huh. And happy, happy holidays to you, by the way. Oh, thank you very much. We appreciate that so much. Thank you. Thank you.